Hello guys, welcome to Coding Byte. Fractional scaling is a handy feature that allows you to optimize your HIDPI monitors and high-resolution laptops to the fullest extent. By fine-tuning the scaling, you can create a well-balanced and aesthetically pleasing desktop display that is neither too large nor too small. While resolution settings may have advantages, they can often be impractical due to limitations within the operating system. In addition, it allows you to increase the size of text and other UI elements on your display without making everything appear blurry. This can be useful if you have a high-resolution display and want to make the text easier to read. Ubuntu 20.04 LTS introduced fractional scaling in 2020 by introducing 100%, 125%, 150%, 175% and 200%. It is available in settings under the display page. But in the Fedora workstation with the default GNOME desktop, only 100% and 200% scaling are available. Open the terminal window. Run the following command. This command enables the 125%, 150% and 175% scaling factors in Fedora with GNOME. Restart your Fedora, open settings, and you should see the scaling factors available. However, it's important to note that fractional scaling is not always perfect. Some applications may not scale correctly. For example, non-GTK apps may look blurry if the application is not designed properly. Also, it's important to note that fractional scaling may increase power consumption for your laptops due to high rendering effort by GPU. This command should work in Wayland as per my test. If you don't want to use the command but still want to achieve a similar experience, then you can install GNOME Tweaks using sudo dnf install gnome tweaks command. Go to fonts and change the scaling factor. If you want to keep 100% scaling but want a larger font, try scaling equals 1.1 or 1.2. Adjust as per your need. Experimenting with different scaling factors is essential to find the one that works best for you. The best scaling factor will depend on your display size, eyesight, and preferences. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more Linux-related content. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.